Hello everyone, welcome to ProMind's AutoCAD Tips and Tricks. This week we'll be going over a couple of commands that can be really useful when you're doing some mine planning for your drifts. Uh, the first one is the break command. So if you see here, we have a center line for this drift. And say we want to make some changes to the center line because the design of the entire drift depends on the center line. And we want to break the center line apart because we're gonna make some changes to the drift. So starting off, we're gonna use the break command. And what happens is you're gonna select your center line and then select the second point that you wanna have the break in. And as you can see here, it's split the center line uh, based on the first point we picked and the second point we picked. So now we have two center lines here and say we're gonna need to know the dimensions of this center line. Um, if you use the Q dim, shortcut which is short for quick dimension press enter you'll see that it automatically brings up the dimensions for this line uh, now one setback of the quick dimension shortcut is that it goes vertically upwards or horizontally to the right and to the left and only gives you horizontal and vertical distances uh, it works for circles and arcs in a different way where it gives you the radius for those objects and so once we select where we want our dimensions to be, you'll see here that it leaves uh, the dimensions according to these lines. So the distance from here, this spot right here, up until here would be the addition of these two distances. So it's just a good way to have like a quick uh, estimate of the distance between two points when you are dimensioning your drifts. Uh, so that concludes this week's AutoCAD tips and tricks. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for another topic, please send them to us through the comments section below. Thanks for watching.